somebody that's come by said they've been arguing ever since they put in up there. They come by us, he was calling her bitch and all this other shit and everything else. He got it, that float got hung on that log and he called her bitch and that mother jumped over that float and hit her in the mouth. He hit her in the mouth with yeah. we, Me and Justin thought he was fitting to drown her because he pushed her up under the float. And then that's when me and Justin started screaming at him to turn her loose. And then we got after his ass because then he said some slick to us. Okay. August 13, 2023, while conducting a boating safety inspection on the Chippewa River, FWC officer Jared Carr observed a man being chased across the river by three very angry men. Officer Carr abruptly ends his boating safety inspection and begins to maneuver his patrol vessel to the disturbance. Georgia Special Attack Golf Echo Victor, 777, State Farm, Which one? That one? Forty-two, fourteen, Panama. You got a twenty-two physical. Ten forty-eight. Back up. Ten-four right now. Trying to get it figured out. I'm right here at the mouth of Spring Creek on Spool River. Subjects in the water. Is this him right here? Hey. Get up on land. What's going on? Sir, uh, me and my old lady had a little argument. And um, the guys just think like it's arguing. And all of a sudden, everybody's going to kill me. So I just said, I'm getting the hell out of here, and I'm getting on down the river. OK, hang, hang, hang on the front of the boat right there. What is this, Mr. Yeah, you can grab on the boat or get get, get up there on land. Get home, man, not missing nobody. Where are you from? I'm from Tallahassee, sir. I'll take it this way. Got me going. Yeah, I got you. Go on up there on land. I'll get up there with you. I got it. All right. So what's going on? Well, I was, like I said, me and my old lady had a little argument back and forth. Okay. She said she was going to leave me. And so we asked them. They said it was about an hour to where we got off at Bear Paul. Okay. And uh, I said, please don't leave me. You popped the raft. She got mad at me. I was trying to help these girls find their phone. She just left me. Okay. So when I catch back up, I just laid down. But she was playing like I'm being a sorry old piece of shit boyfriend to everybody. So these boys don't like that shit. I got you. And I didn't ever touch her. I never would hit her. I swear to God to you. And um, well, we're gonna get her side first. Okay, yes, sir, we're gonna get your side yes, and her sir, side. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Robert. Hold on, real quick. Yes, we're gonna sir. try to get this all straightened out. All right. So you said, uh, where's your wife at? Uh, she's not my wife. She's been my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Where's your girlfriend she's at? She's in that big blue, which I don't know which way you came from, but right around that bend. I'm not trying to point to get them all fired she's, up. She's in the creek. That big, that big ass blue, big ass blue raft. Okay. I bought it from a friend of mine. It fits like seven. It's okay. huge. Okay. And it's just her in it. She's got blonde hair. And uh, I would never hit my girl, too. I mean, I know you got to hear her side and stuff, but then well, I know how people are, and I'm the same way. I don't like people to touch women either. They just started, man, had to get out of there. They about to kill me. So what all? She, you were just yelling at her? Uh, well, I was like, I told her, well, she first, she we get stuck, and she didn't want out unless she was doing anything, but around me, and she would jump out, and they're like, look at that guy letting his girl do his damn work, which I understand, so you know how it ain't work. She knows how to pull strings. So then once she got us out of it, I just laid down. I said, well, if you're that good, take us to the place. And then she just stopped. And she told me, and she started packing her stuff up, and she said, I'm fixing to leave. And she popped the boat. She ran under them jetties or some sharp rocks right around the corner, okay. right here in the middle. She took them over on purpose. And I said, you done popped them up. Man. So anyway, she was packing her stuff up, saying she was going to leave me. Okay. And, you know, she didn't pack her stuff up left, so she was just pulling the boat. And I got up when I tripped over. I fell off the damn boat. I was like trying to get the damn keys from her because I didn't want her to get down there and get them damn keys and crank up and leave me here because we live in Tallahassee. Well, you, you a good way from her being yeah. able to crank up. Yeah, well, I'm, see, I don't <laughs> she know She got several that. hours before she'd make Is it to the that car. Far? Is yeah. that that far? Okay, yeah. somebody said it was like 45 minutes to an hour. We were yeah, asking it's her. about an hour. Okay, hour. well, I was hoping it was because I, you know, I didn't want it to be so quick. I was like, like I like this taking our time. But right. when them guys got it going, they won't kill me. So the best okay. way to do it is get away from them boys. So then nobody really, they didn't really, I'm gonna say something, they just like we would be and it, we you know, they protect the girl. But they got me wrong on that. I would never touch a girl. But I hear them, but they just they were feeding me. I had to go. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't gonna be you weren't gonna be talk. Okay.
but I don't know them. They're good guys, I guess. I All just right. want to go home. Well, I tell you what, you're yes. going to get on the boat and we'll give you a life jacket. Yes. And we're going to go back up there, all right? I got to go give that one man his license. They ain't going to mess with you with me. Okay, I'm just saying, man. I mean, I ain't scared of a lot of them I am. And I was in the war, they couldn't drown. I don't know. All right, okay. Put put this life jacket on, all right? Don't let nobody beat this dude's ass until I can figure out what's going on, okay? I got him right here. If he runs, I got him right He ain't going nowhere. Just let make all sure all these others leave him alone, all right? All right. All right. This, this lady that was involved in. All right. How you doing today, ma'am? Officer Jared. Officer Jared Carr. Um, what's going on today? He didn't lay any hands on you or anything? Yeah, he did. He did? Yeah, okay. he did. He his hands All right. Are you here with some other people no, or just, you're, he just you and him? Okay. All right. You mind taking a boat ride with him or? I'm not going to be on a boat ride with him. Okay. We'll, we'll get him back. We'll get him You going to get her back? We all witnessed it. We all all right. Who all witnessed it? Everybody else. I need to uh, get y'all's information then because you're witnesses. I need to, you know, at least either get a statement from you or um, who all is willing to give me one. Okay, all right. Just, just a couple is all I need. All right, Robert, put a turn around, put your hands behind your back, all right? You're under arrest for a domestic battery, okay? I got your phone. I got three witnesses, all right? I didn't even lay a hand on all right. I promise you that. Sir. Okay. I promise you that. All right. Step up on the boat, all right? Yes, sir. I never touch it. You got anything in your pockets? All right. So have a seat for me, okay? All right. I got a half a dozen witnesses over there saying you did. And she's saying you did, too. I didn't lay a hand on it, I swear to God, I did not. Right, well. I did not. As soon as I went into the water, they started charging me, and I was like, I would never touch her. That's exactly what I said. I got around the bed, and then these guys were the same way, and I just said, I didn't touch her. I was just trying to distance myself. You had, anything, you had anything to drink today? I had a couple of drinks, yes, sir. I had okay. right. But I would never touch her, I swear to you, sir. I swear to God, I would not raise that way. I'm going to push you off right here, and we're going to follow you down. Okay. I was not ready to let Who's, who's going to get, find out who's got her and tell her to meet me down at Magnolia, all right? Okay, yeah, put her on your boat. Or, well, somebody's going to put her on her boat, on their boat. So. I got him right here. I'm going to float you all the way back to the river right here. Uh, appreciate it, Danny. You got to understand where I'm at. I got, I got a dozen. I was getting the hell away from her. I would never touch her. I would never lay my hands on her. Ever, sir. Ever. This is crazy. They were trying to kill me, but I would never touch her. I swear to God. I swear to God to you. Bottom line, I'm not raised. I'm not made that way. My God.
You want to take your phone to the jail? You ain't going to leave it with her, I'm assuming. I was sitting up north of the creek, sitting there, you know, checking two uh, kayakers, and I was running his information and stuff, and all of a sudden I hear him yelling, and I look back, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? I see a dude jumping across the river, running from about two or three guys chasing him, and I'm like, what the? So I was like, hey, hold on just a second. I went down there, and they were like, hey, man, this dude just right here swimming down the river out there just hit his old lady. And so... Oh, they were going to jump him. <laughs> Uh, they were, yeah, they were trying to get a hold of him and beat his tail, and so um, she, I mean, she told me he hit me, and you know, I had a dozen witnesses that witnessed it. So it's like, all right, cool. I don't really, I think, need her consent to charge. No, you don't. It's good that if she wants to prosecute them, because they're more likely. Oh, she, to get out. she sounded like she was done with him. Like I, she didn't want to have no more part of him today. So, all right. But appreciate the. He gonna give her a good black eye. No, it didn't look like it. I mean, but she's got marks all over her body, but I don't know what it's from. Thank you all again. So, Mr. Kara, you said? I'm sorry. His name Kara again? Yes, sir. Okay. Did, where, where did he hit you at? Um, he was pushing me down. He's pushing you down? Into the water. He didn't and then it. grabbed this and was hitting me with this. And this, and then this was sinking down. Was he hitting down, you in the head to... with it or where was he hitting you with it? Um, he mainly was just, uh, to be honest with you, it was going so fast. I just remember him dunking me down like this into the water and had, had this. And was hitting me with this. And you didn't, you didn't, that was unwanted, you didn't want that at all? No, no. I was trying to get away. Okay. All right. Well, he's taking a trip to jail for domestic violence. Y'all, okay. he said, you, he said you live with him sometimes. Yes. And you got your own place too. So. Yes, I have my own place. And we, ha we, have, we are not living together as of um, over a month ago. Okay. All right. And do you, and. Do you want to press charges? I mean, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and rest. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna get a uh, get you to come up here with this. You got your car here? Uh, my car is down. Uh, it's in the parking lot over there, over on the other side. At Bear Paw? Yes. Okay. What all took place? What all did you see? Because I know you was the one mainly chasing after him. Well, I'm, well, I don't put up with that too well. I mean, if I wouldn't have been there, hey, I was. You know, I, you do what you got to do. But they they came by. Everybody that's they been on the river, that, the boat, really. everybody that's come by said they've been arguing ever since they put in up there. Really? And uh, when they come by us, he was calling her bitch and all this other shit and everything else. And then you know where that log was that you had to come around? Yeah. When he got it, that float got hung on that log and he called her bitch and that mother jumped over that float and hit her in the mouth. He hit her in the mouth with yeah. it. And then, and then when he pushed, we, me and Justin thought he was fitting to drown her because he pushed her up under the float. And then that's when me and Justin started screaming at him to turn her loose. And then we got after his ass because then he said some slick to us. Okay. No, my thing is... And then he realized he was about to get... He didn't realize he, just... he was about to have a bunch of other effort running after his ass. Well, and I saw that part. That's the part I come in at and seen. I don't... I don't... I ain't uh, like I said, I don't know if anything will come out of it, but... Um, Y'all, y'all are witnesses I to hope it. Everything comes about of it because I don't like it right there. There ain't no need to put your hands on it. If I'm gonna put your number, names, and number in the report, if uh, so, the state attorney can contact you. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't have any statements right now to give you, but I mean, you just gave me one. I got the camera rolling, so you're you're good. I'll give whoever needs. To you good? Yeah, I'll, I'll kick off from you. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Justin, you put all the rest of the stuff up there. Oh, or that's that's okay. Yeah, just throw them on the front of my boat right there. Alcohol in them. Yeah, I, I, I figured. I figured there was alcohol involved. Did you? Where's them dummies at? Did you? I threw them in the river. I mean, I dumped them, the, the package. It was just uh, it was the delta from the. Well, because the guys right there just told me that he was kind of real happy when they he got at the top of her putting in. Well, yeah. And then was, you mix was, those with you know yeah, alcohol. It maybe wasn't, a, it wasn't actual. 
It was CBD gummies. It was cheap CBD. to get from the store. Okay, all right. Yeah, it was the Delta 9. So was there a cowboy hat? Somebody said Yeah, it's right here in his boat. I can take those and leave them at the jail to close, but they ain't going to take that float. That's why I'm glad he took it. Yeah, just throw it on the front for me. Throw it in the boat somewhere. Thank you. Hey, guys, appreciate it. Hey, was you, did you did you watch it? I mean, you watched it too. <laughs> I figured. I'm going to put you, put you in the report so you can. All right, thank you.